Hi folks, I'm Ben Jacob, Pioneer Field Agronomist in West Central Indiana. And today I want to talk to you about managing head scab and wheat, particularly managing it in fields that we may have missed a fungicide application on. Um, so to start with, how does head scab infection or fusarium head blight occur? Um, well, it occurs at flowering and the big thing it needs is free moisture on the head. Whenever, whenever the anthers pop out of one of the spikelets, is when you have a point of infection and the disease, if there's free moisture and we're between 75 and 85 degrees, you can get aggressive disease spread. And then post flowering, as we have humidity and heat, it can spread more throughout that head. So again, in a field where we already have infection or we didn't get a fungicide application on, how do we know if we have infection? Well, as we go through and we, and we look at heads, sometimes you'll see an individual spike or sometimes, such in this case, you'll see half the head or more than half the head it's kind of an off color. It's not green anymore. It gets a little bit grayed. Um, it almost looks like it's maturing, but it's not turning that golden color. So those, those are damaged kernels that actually have the infection in them. Um, to get an idea of what amount of damage you have, you can randomly sample a bunch of heads, uh, estimate what percent damage on that head, add that up and divide by the number of heads you sampled. Um, when you hit 10%, you're likely to start seeing disease loss. And as you go up from there, you increase vomitoxin concern, which happens to be the big concern with scab infection is that your grain quality is gonna go down because of test weight, but more importantly, um, vomitoxins are, are very toxic to livestock, particularly pigs, um, at thresholds of five parts per million even. Um, they, can, they can cause issues or the pigs will, will just flat out refuse to eat them. So once you have an idea of what your infection level is, you need to come up with a plan on how to manage it during and after harvest. So because these kernels are going to be lighter, if you increase your fan speed on your machine, there's potential you can blow a bunch of them out the back and, and decrease your overall, your overall disease load in the grain. Um, but the most important thing is getting, getting this dry. Below 15%, you're going to slow down the, the disease spread, um, which which is a good thing because your wheat needs to be stored at 13% or below anyway to, to decrease um, fungal, storage fungal spread. So if you didn't spray your wheat this year with all the humidity and the rains we had right around flowering, I'd encourage you to go out and assess what the damage actually looks like and make a plan for dealing with that during harvest and after. Thanks for watching. That concludes this Pioneer Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.